Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. Logic ERP provides numerous reports among which there is sale register detailed report that would provide you a detailed view of all the sale transaction that took place in certain period of time. So let's get started. First of all, go to main menu and click on report and queries. Then expand the sale registers. Click on sale register detailed. Now, click on configuration and give a name to the report configuration. You will find print columns option under print options. It consists the list of all the columns that will be displayed such as bill date, bill number, item name, quantity etc. You can choose columns as per your requirement of report. Tick the selected item only option given below to filter the selected columns only. You can rearrange the column order using arrow keys in the right side and rename the column also as per your requirement. After making required changes, click on save button. We will get back to the total and other print options later. Before that, we will go to report options. The first option is used to set the report type that can be chosen as normal or go down wise. Then, we have report consolidation option that can be used to compile report as item wise, which means you want to display the data item wise in detail or in consolidate manner. The next option is to choose nature of document. You can choose sale, sale return or both as per your need. Then, we have order by option that is used to set the order in which you want your report to be composed such as date plus bill wise, party plus date plus bill wise, item wise consolidated etc. You can make a choice as per the report requirement. The next option allows you to set the item order as lot wise, item plus size wise, item plus shade wise, company wise, item group wise etc. You can choose from the list respectively as needed. Next we have is report filter option. This option allows you to apply filter in report on the basis of report column or item name. You can choose none if neither of both is required. Then, there is filter available for net amount difference. You can choose filter as per requirement. Next we have is cancel bill filter. You can choose uncancelled all bills or cancelled bills. Then, there is agent filter that allows you to apply agent filter either bill wise or item wise. After agent filter, we have chalan bill filter. You can choose bills without chalan, bills with chalan or none. The data in the report will be filtered respectively. Then, we have item description column. You can choose appropriate option from the following list. Next we have is free or replacement value option. You can choose the rate from the list at which free or replacement value will be calculated. Then, we have excise rate round of option. You can choose bill wise, item wise or none if not required, depending upon the requirements you have. Next, we have stock transfer filter option. You can either choose stock transfer only, non-stock transfer only or none if not required. On the right side, we have user defined net amount option 1 and to that can be used to define the net amount according to your requirement. You can tick the fields from the list that you want to include in the UD net amount. Next we have is extra item groups option. In case you want to view the report group wise then you can use extra item group option. Make sure that the items are allocated under the respective group level. For instance, I am going to choose GST tax group here. Let's move forward to more options available under other options. Let's start with quantity CF option which allows you to choose the conversion factor in which your quantity will be displayed if you have defined the conversion factor while item setup. 
In case you have chosen weight per unit CF, then the weight in option will be enabled. You can choose according to your choice. If you have chosen any option other than weight per unit, then the weight in option will be disabled in that case. Then, we have conversion factor mode option. You can set it as either bill wise or item wise. Next, we have a very useful feature of this report that is to calculate margin percentage. You can either choose rate 1 minus rate 2 or vice versa. Then, you need to define rate 1 as well as rate 2 from the given list. The margin percentage will be calculated according to the rates defined. Then we have free value in user defined 1 and 2. You can either choose to deduct free value from user defined amount, add free value or neither of both. Next, we have is rate option. This will allow you to display rate as per pack or per kilograms. You can choose according to your requirement. Next, we have rate per weight option. You can choose appropriate option from the given list. Then, we have user defined rate option. You can choose it from the given list. User defined net amount discussed earlier will be computed on the basis of the UD rate defined here. Then we have pick rates from option. This option will allow to pick rates from lot master or item rates defined while item setup. Make sure you always choose lot wise rates here. Next we have UD net amount 1 gross value option. To compute gross value in UD net amount 1, you can choose actual, lot or item rate. If you have chosen lot rate then you have to select the rate at which gross value will be calculated. On the right side, here we have set a few more options so, let's discuss them one by one. The first check will allow you to use conversion factor for free quantity. You can tick to enable this option. Next we have quantity decimalization option that allows to convert quantity as per conversion factor defined in setup item. Then, there is option to add free, replacement or sample quantity in total quantity column. Next we have option to use user defined item order. Then, we have show item summary option. This option will allow to display the summary of the items. Next, we have option to display the original lot codes. Then we have an option you can tick to enable if you want to display the carton information in the report. Next, we have an option that will allow you to display only the data of the current branch in which you have logged in. Then, we have an option that will add creation branch in lot code if enabled. Next, we have an option that will allow to display sale chalan also. In case you do not want to display cash customer in report, then you can tick to enable this option. Next check will allow to display the items in the order they are entered in the voucher. Then we have an option that will implement the user access rights if the rights are granted earlier. Last but not the least, this option will allow to filter rows in the report with additional free quantity if entered while billing. Now, click on OK button and save the report configuration. Let's create the report now. Click on Create button. As you can see, the report displays the bill details along with the items that are transacted in the respective bills. To display grand total at the end of the report, press F5 to open configuration window. Tick the grand total option. Save the changes made and press F2 to regenerate report. You can observe that the grand total has now appeared at the report end. Similarly, you can modify report according to your requirements anytime. For instance, let's add bill wise total in the report. Go to report options and check the report order. Now get back to the report total and tick the sub order wise total. Save the changes and recreate the report and see the difference. By applying bill wise total, you may now easily identify each and every bill. To zoom into the bill, double click in the respective bill row.
Let's consolidate this report item wise. Open configuration window and go to report options. Set order by as item wise consolidated and item order as item name only. Save the changes made. After recreating report, you can observe that the report is consolidated on the basis of item name. Before moving forward towards other options, let's change the configuration as it was before. Okay, so now let's know more about the configuration. Open configuration window and go to report options. Click on extra item groups and choose any group that you want to display. Here I have already chosen GST tax group. Make sure that all items are allocated to appropriate tax group. Next, you have to select the extra item group column from the setup column attributes. Click F2 to refresh the report. As you can see that the column displaying GST tax percentage is added. Similarly, you can add other group categories also if defined. Let's move forward towards the printing of report. Click on print report option and then click on print RTF mode. Print preview will pop up. You can customize page setting using options. Under options, you will find font option to change font, style, size. Then we have print and page settings where you can set up page, page margins and page orientation. You can also break column for printing. Go to column attribute setup and filter the selected columns only. Here you can find the column as print as control break column. Tick to enable control break for corresponding column. Here, for instance, we would control break bill date column. Let's see how it works. You can observe that the control break print option has divided the report into date wise sections that gives quite understandable preview. You can also use save document as PDF to export the report as PDF file. Then, we have few options here, such as sorting of report ascending or descending, resizing columns, exporting report to Excel or PDF, find option to trace any value, and option to preview print report. Moreover, there is range of filters that can be used to filter the data in the report. Unlike sales summary, here we have item name filter. You can choose the item from search list and check the report. This filter will allow you to display the bill-wise detailed report of that item. In addition with, you can also use company filter to check the sale report. Choose the company from list and the sale report of all the item belonging to that company will be generated. These filters allow to provide more precise view to the report. To create a copy of the same report, click on copy option next to configuration. Enter the report name and click on copy create button. We have created a report of sale and sale return. To add sale return, open configuration window and go to report options. Change the report configuration from sale only to sale and sale return.
Save the changes made and create the report. Now, you can observe that the sale return voucher has also been displayed. Let's move on to other options. To delete any report configuration, choose the report configuration and click on delete. Then, there is rename option that will allow you to edit the report name. Next, we have export option. This will allow to save the configuration in your system and in case of data loss or corrupt report configuration, you can import the report again anytime. Choose the location where you want to save the file. Give a appropriate name and click on save. Lastly, click on export button. Now, let's see how to import the report configuration. So let's just quickly delete the existing report we have here. Now, click on import button, browse the location where the file was saved, and then click on import button. As you may see that the message has prompt stating that the configuration is imported successfully. So let's check it. You will notice that the report is being imported just as it was before. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. For more software related updates, hit the notification bell icon and subscribe to our channel.